It's got a deadline when everything breaks or things break. I guess the boat lift is no different. Got two motors, one on the other side, down through the conduit to the other pole, pole mounted plate motor over there, motor over there. Of course, there's always one furthest away. It won't turn. So why won't it turn? Can't get the boat off the lift or up. But this, this time we're trying to get it down. Need to take it out tomorrow. Guess, guess it's coming. All right, here's the outboard motor. You see it's fairly well, fairly well um, corroded. And if you turn the remote on down, you can hear this hum. Which means electricity is getting to it. And the reason it's humming is it can't start. This capacitor under this cover, which is corroded on there shut, is, um, is dead. And it needs the capacitor to start. If you can get it started, it'll run and keep running we're about to try to do manually so I wouldn't recommend this but we need the boat off the lift and so fortunately we're going down so down kind of allows this thing to sustain itself once we get it rolling in the direction but you can kind of throw it all right not enough throw it. there we go you see I just manually started it. it does it just needs to be able to get started so we can ride it down from here and get the boat off the lift and I'll deal with it later Nothing wrong with the motor. It's almost always going to be the starting capacitor. Electrically, the motor can last forever. Mechanically, maybe not. Bearings could go. Housing is starting to corrode. As long as you don't do something to short the motor, it'll last electrically forever. So when we get this later, I'll have to come out, and pry this cover off, and find a new starting capacitor for this. Always something.